The following video is going to describe what layers are in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so um, basically what layers are are different areas that you can work with within your image. So for instance, um, we went over the interface within Photoshop and layers are located right in the um, lower or middle right hand corner of the screen. Um, could be the upper depending on how you have your layout set up. Um, this is where your layers are located. And I actually, I, I actually have created an image here with four layers just so you can kind of see example of what they are. Um, but essentially what a layer is, it's a piece of, almost imagine a piece of glass that I can draw on. And as I put another piece of glass on top of another, uh, I can see what's there. So for instance, right now I have this image on the screen. It's simply a number of um, layers. It's actually five layers, a background of four layers. And you can see that over here, I have layer four, three, two, one, and background. So essentially what this means is layer one is on the bottom, which is the red. Layer two is next, which is the blue. Layer three, which is the yellow. And layer four, which is my top layer, is the green. Now, just to show you how layers work, I can do different things with these layers. First of all, I can make them visible and invisible. So by taking my eye and clicking on it, I can make one visible and invisible. So let's click on something. Let me click my green layer. And what happens? As soon as I click on it, it disappears. So click, disappear, click, disappear. Now this will show you the order of the layer. So let's say I get rid of my blue layer. You can see that I can still see what's behind it in red. So if I get rid of my red, let's get rid of yellow, blue, red. You can see that they're in order, they stack upon one another. Now to tell what layer you're on, you can see that one is highlighted blue a little more. So if we go to layer three, which is my yellow layer, and I wanted to actually draw something, um, it's gonna, you can see, let me just use a different color here just so you can see a good example of what this will look like. And let's make this brush a little larger. There we go. You can see that I'm drawing on layer three. So I'm drawing on everything over layer background, layer one, layer two, I'm covering. I'm not covering layer four, and I'm actually drawing on layer three. So if I let go of layer four, and if I let go of layer three, it disappears because this is the layer I was working on. So why is this an advantage? Well, here's why this is an advantage. First of all, um, whenever I'm making an image, let's say I'm making 10 different variations of the same image. I want my image to look like what's up on the screen, except I want there to be different text, a different text for each month of the year. So the first one, I would write January. And you can't actually see this because it's hidden behind this layer, but I can put it up here, and I have January on the screen. Now I can save this image, and let's say I want a new image for February. All I need to do is hide my January layer, create a new layer, which I do at the bottom of the screen, new layer. I can create a new layer, or I can just simply use text because using text will allow me write February on the screen. Now the advantage of this is that I can now save this image and I can hide this and go right back to January. And you can imagine all the possibilities with this with tweaking image. Additionally what's awesome about this is let's say I just want to edit this image a little bit. I can create a new layer, do some edits, draw something, and let's say I don't like what I've just done simply hide the layer or even delete it by tossing it in the garbage and it disappears. This helps me, it's almost a, a really good way to save, it helps me each time I do something I always start a new layer. Uh, it's very beneficial. Now I can also do some other things with layers like if I go to layer I can actually merge my layers, I can't merge the text but let me go to layer 4. I can actually merge down which will combine layers so this will combine layers 4 and 3 and then I can actually also flatten my image to make it just everything, just one layer. And it's going to give me some warnings. And now everything is just one layer. I'm going to undo that, but you can see how you can do that. Um, so that's the real advantage of layers. You need to learn to work with layers if you're working with Photoshop because everything you do is going to be on a new layer. And just to give you an example, whenever, 
whenever I open up a new um, image in Photoshop, the first thing I do is I either go to select all and paste it on a new layer or I right click on the background layer and go to duplicate layer because I never work from the background layer. I always work from this. And guess what? Let's see, I mess this image up. I simply discard this layer and just duplicate another one from the background. I can actually duplicate two or three just to get the image that I really want, just to keep have more copies of it to mess with. All right, and that's all layers are. They're very simple to work with, um, but they're very beneficial. There are layer options and stuff, but we're going to go through them in another video. Thanks.